بيب بيب <sighs> again with this <sighs> it's too early to be dealing with this no smell of breakfast being made the shower isn't going off no alarm <laughs> you've got to be kidding me babe sweetheart i know you're in there no point in trying to hide. If you don't open the door, then I'll just have to keep knocking. Silence is only gonna delay the inevitable. Good morning, cutie. You're up bright and early. How'd I sleep? Like a log. My rest was so wonderful. It started with me getting tucked in by this amazingly smart, hard-working individual. It was strange, though. I had to convince them to join me. And after we argued over who got to be the big spoon, I held them close and dozed off as if nothing happened. Yet, when I woke up, my amazing, smart, hard-working partner was nowhere to be found. I was so frightened. I woke up thinking, what if they were kidnapped? How would I find them? What if they're hurt? Oh, the humanity. If you were hurt, I wouldn't know what to do. But it was none of the above. Instead, I wake up, realize you're not next to me so I can't give you a good morning kiss, and find you in your office, standing between me and the door, trying to hide the fact you stayed up working again. Babe, how many times do I have to tell you that? Are you fine? I mean, you keep saying that you're fine, but when I come home from work, I find you asleep at the table with your work spread everywhere. If not the table, then on the couch with papers on the coffee table. If not that, then in our bed with, you guessed it, more papers. Sweetie, there's nothing wrong with taking a day off. Everyone needs rest. Even me. And even you. Ah, oh, babe, do you hear yourself? If I don't work, then I'll fall behind. Got the bullshit. Babe, taking a day off won't set you behind that much. If you keep running on fumes, eventually you'll blow a gasket. What's so funny? <laughs> Shut up, I'm not adorable, and who cares if I messed up the phrase? You got the point. Yes, you did, otherwise you wouldn't have that smug-ass grin on your face. <laughs> I am serious, though, babe. Please, get some rest. Not in a minute, now. You are coming with me, and you are going to lay down beside me, and I'm not leaving your side until you rest, okay? Ah, 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 no ifs, ands, or buts. You are resting. Now come with me. Come lay down beside me. Nope, I won't hear it. You need rest. This isn't me asking, this is me telling you to come and relax with me. Please. Thank you. Hand you a pillow? Mm, no, I want you to rest your head on my lap, okay? Don't look at me like that. How often do I let you rest your head on my lap anyway? Besides, I get to play with your hair. <laughs> Again with the annoyed look. Baby, come on. Please. See? Isn't resting your head on my lap, wrapped underneath the warmth of our blanket, just so relaxing? Way better than sitting at your desk and slaving away at a computer screen for hours. Don't give me that annoyed look. You know you like to rest on my lap. 
I don't do this often, but when I do... I don't know how to finish that phrase. <laughs> but seriously, babe, I need you to rest. You've been working so hard, especially since this whole quarantine thing started. It's great that you still have your job and get to work from home, and it's great that our family and friends are doing their best during this time as well, but... Ever since you started working from home, it's as if you forgot how to rest. You treat the whole house as your office. You only come out of your work frame of mind when it's time to eat. When we sit down and watch TV at night, you seem to be thinking about what to do next. Even before bed, I catch you setting up for the next day till it's late. And then when you wake up, you always seem so tired. How do I know? Baby, you may sound wide awake, but those bags underneath your eyes say otherwise. Not only that, but you're quieter than usual. Taking a break isn't going to be the end of the world. Spending today with me isn't going to set you back. I need you to rest. Not want. Need, okay? So close your eyes and rest. <laughs> of course I put my hands over your eyes. It guarantees that they're closed. And don't worry, my hands are clean. It's okay, babe. Take slow, deep breaths. Take your mind off of today. Enjoy my presence. Just breathe. I'm here for you, okay? You know, I'm so proud of you. You're doing fantastic work. You take care of me whenever I'm down in the dumps or working too hard. You constantly check in on your friends and family to make sure that they're okay. The least I can do is return the favor. I'm not going anywhere. Let's just relax. Hey, remember when that really bad hurricane came? Yeah, that one. The thunder was so bad that it shook the house, and the rain didn't let up and the wind just sounded terrifying. Even when I froze, you... Yeah. You held me close and constantly checked on me. You even told me that you would beat up the hurricane if it continued to scare me. Which, I mean, in the context of it was all ridiculous. But the point is, you were there for me. And I know you're tired, so I want to be here for you. Even if it's just helping you get the rest you deserve. You know what else you did for me that night, babe? You sang to me. Ah, 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 eyes closed. You need rest. I'm just saying it was a sweet thing you did for me. Now, without further ado, I present to you the musical stylings of me, your favorite human on the planet. <clears throat> No singing? <sighs> okay, fine, no singing. I'm not singing. I'm just humming. I love you. <laughs> 